Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Today's video is going to be kind of just like a normal studio vlog. I don't have any craft fairs this weekend, but I do have one next Wednesday. So I'm kind of going to be preparing for that. Today is Tuesday. I didn't film anything yesterday just because I was kind of just chilling around the house and doing some housework. But today I don't really have a ton of stuff that I want to work on because I do want to go to the sewing store tonight and pick up a couple of things. Um, I need some batting because I want to test out making um, a new product this week. And I could work on doing my keychain stuff, but these are all the keychains that I have left to put hardware on. But I ordered some E7000 on Amazon. That's not going to get here till tomorrow. And I was going to use that because I've had a lot of suggestions saying to put the E7000 like in the hardware I guess because the thick fabric sometimes it can pull out or the hardware doesn't sink deep enough in. So I ordered the E7000 and that should be here tomorrow. And I also have a couple of other sewing notions that I bought on Amazon that should be here tomorrow. So I want to go to the sewing store tonight to pick up some more fabric and to also pick up the quilting batting that I'm going to put in the new product that I'm working on. And I may also pick up some more fabric to make some more keychains because um, I'd like to maybe incorporate some darker colors or kind of just like some different patterns because right now I have a lot of light white with like floral. So I'd like to try to get something different. I may have a fabric here in my fabric pile that I want to use as my tester, but I can't do it until I get my zippers that I've ordered and also the batting. So I can't do that. So I think probably what I'm going to work on this afternoon during nap is I've got some um, removable adhesive vinyl that I'm going to cut to put on my mirror that I take to events because um, it was also recommended to me to put like my socials on that. So I think all I'm going to do actually is put like my logo and then my QR code and then my tag us on Instagram and do like my Instagram. So I think that's what I'm going to work on today. I put my Cricut up in here. I'll show you. I put it on this shelf right here. Um, so yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to work on right now. And then maybe when I get done with that and put it on my mirror, I will maybe work on going ahead and cutting out some fabric for the um, the test new product that I'm going to work on. So yeah, so let's just go ahead and get to getting the Cricut going. Also a side note, so I finished all of the Bridgerton books and it makes me a little bit sad. I hate like finishing a series that I really enjoy. So I'm kind of like womp womp. So I might like restart that, but right now I'm listening to the third book of The Wheel of Time and Ethan's really into that and I'm really into the show too and I do like the books but they're starting to get a little bit complicated because there's just like so many different names and like city names and so I'm trying to keep up with it it's a little bit difficult if I'm not like totally focused on it because right now I'm only like an hour in and I'm completely lost I do not I do not know what's going on right now so I'm just like hoping that I'll catch on um, because I watched the series, listening to the first two books was a little bit easier for me to comprehend because I could kind of visualize it. But I'm trying really, really hard to get into this because there's like a million other books after this. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be listening while I'm working on that. So just go ahead and jump into it. Brand new street and brand new me. Side by side by friends I need. Don't you tell me that you're in town already know. Ago. Hey, now that our names are written in stone, let's be honest, sounds like home. Still, I'm here alone and I'm calling your phone. I wish I could wipe my own memory out. I wish I could dream about somebody else. I wish I could talk when the silence so loud I wish, oh I wish I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could do something that would make sense I wish I would know what you're thinking about I wish I could wipe my own memory out Dreams might turn into something 
Tuesday afternoon and I'm at one of the local fabric stores to get some new fabric and to get some like quilting batting. But before I go in, I want to talk about some gossip that I meant to mention earlier, but I totally forgot about it until I drive over here. But oh my gosh. So if you can remember when that lady hit my cargo hitch at the 904 pop-up in Jacksonville, um, you can remember that she gave me like a really, really hard time about it and was saying that she had to like think about helping me out um, because she hit it and broke it and I asked her to pay for a new one and a new one is like around like 120 um and I you know when I told her that I would like for her to pay for a new one she was like I'll have to think about it and I sent her my Venmo and she was like oh like I don't do Venmo it's gonna have to be like a check if I choose to do it so I gave her Ethan's work address and she ended up sending a check for like $60 which is really really funny and then like she left like a I think I, I may have mentioned this or not she left like kind of like a snarky like one last like hit at the end of the note um I took a picture of it I'll put it up here but essentially she was like yeah you get your likes fixed you know whatever so she did that and since she sent a check which was on a scooby-doo check by the way she's like an adult woman and it was on a scooby-doo check um she's like a woman who's like in her like late 60s and it was a scooby-doo check and you know I kind of yeah that's besides the point but because I am like kind of like curious I decided to like look up her address and like see like where she lived and like what her house was like and y'all this woman who was giving me a hard time over like a $120 hitch she lives in a 6,500 square foot house worth $2.125 million and I guess that's how the rich stay rich because she she is a bougie rich person who was giving me a hard time about $120 to fix a hitch that she ran into. I should have called the police. I 100% should have called the police. I should sue for pain and suffering because I cannot believe the audacity of that woman to be rich living in an almost 7,000 square foot home. She doesn't have any children. They've moved out. So just her, I don't even think she's married. Also, like, she kept asking me, oh, do you want to come back and stay at my house? And, like, like when she hit my car because I think she was like really really but I would have been very very angry if I had rolled up to her mansion I also saw like a google top-down view it's a private gated community so like there's no google street view um but I saw like the top-down footage mansion mansion so it's like I would have been really really mad if I rolled up to her house after she had told me that she had to like think about like helping me pay for a new one to see that she lived in a mansion okay so that that's the end of me ranting, but I cannot believe the audacity of that woman to be a mega millionaire living in a huge house by herself and then being like, mm, here's $60, good luck. But yeah, I'm really, really annoyed by that, but I'm gonna go in here and get what I need. Um, I have like an hour and a half until it closes. It's definitely not gonna take me that much time, but I know I don't like being in stores like right at the closing. So I'm gonna go in and see what they got. This is the sewing studio in Maitland and it's the only locally owned fabric store in the Orlando area I'm pretty sure and it always has the absolute cutest patterns and actual designer collections and because of that it is a little pricier than Joann's but it is definitely worth it in my opinion. Everything is so cute and everyone is always so nice and super helpful in the store. I just got done getting fabrics and I definitely went crazy but I could have gone way more crazy because there were so many cute things in there. So this is what I got. My goal was to like stay under $100. And I only went over just a little bit, but I got so many cute things. Like I got two of these fat quarters. It's kind of hard to see the print, but it's like really, really cute. They have like a bunch of Rifle Paper Co, which is like so stinking cute. Fun fact about Rifle Paper Co and me, a history we have. Um, I feel like it was around the time that me and Ethan were planning our weddings, like 2016. And I feel like Rifle Paper Co. wasn't like super popular or like it was just kind of getting started out. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I want to like reach out to them and ask about like invitations. Like if they could like do our like invitations for the wedding. And I reached out to them for like the package, like to get the illustrations for the save the dates and the invitations. And it was going to be like $4,000. And I was like, yeah, I think that might be about our budget. But yeah, so that was kind of like my first, like, I think, okay, I actually definitely remember why I reached out to them in the first place. They did the box for Ipsy. Is that right? 
Now, they did the box for Birchbox, either Birchbox, BoxyCharm. I think it was Birchbox. They did the box for Birchbox, if anyone can remember Birchbox. I think that Birchbox still might be a thing, but they did the box for it and that's how I saw it. So I guess they were pretty big. So that's stupid, but I think their like headquarters are here in Orlando or here in Winter Park. So I'll have to go check it out. But they also have, I got these two fat quarters. I think this is also rifle paper. Not sure, but this is really cute. Ah, actually, there was a fabric that I wanted to get that I screenshot it, but I, I forgot to get it. And then I got these two also super stinking cute. I did screenshot these. So I was very intrigued when I saw them already pre-cut in the, uh, the bundle. What is it called? Fat quarter. And then, okay, let me like, I'm going to have to like move these so I can pull this out. Hold on. I should have got, brought my, um, I should have brought my actual camera. So I got this pattern. I don't know if I want to use this for my new product or if I want to use it for keychains. I think I'm going with keychains because I was trying to get some that were like a different, like small pattern. So I got that one and then a very similar one, just like in a different color. And then this one I'm going to be using for the new product. How cute is that? I literally could have bought every single one in this like collection. And then I got, this is so cute. Look how cute this is. It's little like bugs on stamps and stuff. How stinking cute is that? Love that, okay. This one, love it. I think I showed this already, but it's like little books. I got a half a yard of everything. I hope that's enough for what I'm making. I've not made this before, so I'm not like 100% sure. But I mean, I'll be able to use it for other things if I mean, I, I'll be able to use it. I just don't know how much use I'll be able to get out of half a yard. And then I got some batting. This like confused me a little bit because I feel like I was asking about it and the, they were confused about it. I don't know. And then I got, this is like so cute to me. Look, it's Alice in Wonderland. I love that. Okay, so there's that one. And then another one i'm really into like stuff that has like bugs on it i think that that's like so stinking cute look, look how stinking cute oh but yeah i could have bought all of that collection and then i got coordinating lining so i got like a pink one and then i also got a blue one and so that is all i got i think they were supposed to give me like a if you buy Maybe they don't do that anymore. Like if you buy like a certain amount, you get like a discount. Maybe I'll ask about it the next time I come in. Cause I'm pretty sure it's like, if you buy like eight yards, you get the ninth yard for free. Maybe that's like, maybe I'm making that up in my head, but I'm pretty sure I have like a card where they wrote it on there. So maybe I'll try to find that because that was not a cheap endeavor and I would like to make it a little bit less expensive. So yeah, so now I'm gonna go home and I probably won't do anything tonight related to it because the light bulb in my office room, like it went out today and I don't know if we have the correct light bulb to replace it. So I may not do anything tonight related to that. I may just have to wait until tomorrow. Pardon my car freshener, it's kind of old. So yeah, so I may not do anything related to this tonight because there's gonna be no light until I get a light in there. Um, yeah, so that was my little fabric haul and I I love everything I got. And I probably, ah, hopefully what I make sells really good because I would like to be able to buy a lot of different fabric and make it, yeah. Okay, so that is all for today and I'll probably just check in tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. So today I'm going to be working on sewing a test of the new product that I'm going to be launching. So I'm going to be using this strawberry pattern um, today. So I'm gonna have an outer, a lining and then my quilt batting so i'm gonna cut those out and i'm actually going to quilt these pieces and i'm actually waiting on amazon to deliver me some zippers and some other little things that i'm gonna need so i'm just gonna start on learning how to quilt and what's kind of funny is i bought a little quilting guide for my sewing machine and i thought i took it out of the package but i don't think i did and um, I let one of our kids throw it away on accident because I guess like the bag like fell on the floor and I thought it was empty and I think this is what happened to it. I think that I thought it was empty and I told him to throw it away in the trash 
and so it was thrown away. So I reordered a quilting bar and I was looking and trying to figure out how to put it on the machine today. And I opened it up and a quilting bar actually came with my sewing machine. So kind of funny, kind of annoying, but I'm gonna be working on that today. And because I don't have my zipper, I can only do so much. So I'm going to work on cutting this, quilting it, and then I'm probably just going to maybe work on some more keychains and get those prepped and ready to sew. And pardon, it's gonna be a little bit dark because I've not had Ethan change the light bulb yet. So it's gonna be a little bit dark. I'll try to brighten it up while I'm editing it. So yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on cutting and quilting. So today I'm finally going to assemble all of my pieces because Amazon just dropped off my zippers and actually it's E6000. I think I was saying E7000, um, but it's E6000. I got that too so I can uh, glue my keychains to my hardware, but I'm going to start by trying to put together my pieces and it's actually going to be a little bag. So just go ahead and get started. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I bought some denim needles because I'm a little bit nervous about the zipper situation because I've never sewn a zipper. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous about that, but these are like plasticky zipper pieces. So I think that's supposed to be like the easier one to like be able to sew through. So wish me luck. I'm probably gonna go really, really slow while I do this. Um, so yeah, so just go ahead and get to sewing.
Well, in a really annoying twist of events, these zippers are not able to be used for this project because like in the pattern that I got and in the video she made about it, she literally just like sews over the zippers and I was looking it up and I saw this thing that was like, oh, like you, it's like you can sew over like plastic zippers and these are plastic, but like there is no way that needle is like going through, going through this. So I don't know if I'm gonna like reach out to her and be like, hey, like what zippers do you recommend? Um, because I have wasted my time and energy trying to do this. And I guess I can like try to like pick it apart, but that's gonna be really, really annoying. So I'm just gonna, I guess like wait for her to message me back. I don't really know because yeah, there's no way that you can like sew over that. Yeah, so kind of disappointing kind of feel like I wasted a lot of time today and my boys woke up really really early from nap so I'm kind of a little bit grumpers so yeah I guess I'm gonna have to put the put the brakes on this one for now until I get the right type of zippers so yeah that's pretty annoying but you know you live and you learn saw me prep a bunch of this pattern keychains so I've got those mod podged just now so I'm letting those dry and when those are done drying I'm going to sew it like I have these ones here at the edge just to make it extra secure so I did that last night today I need to cut out and try to sew some of the other pattern but I'm gonna make that the wider keychain so basically also what I'm going to do is once those are dry and I'm also going to do it to these ones I'm going to use my E6000 and I think the idea is I'm going to put a little bit of E6000 on the edge here and then stuff it up into my hardware and then take one of my little clips and clip it on there and let that dry and then once that's dry then I'll take my tool and clamp it down so I think that's probably what I'm going to work on today the E6000 came with these little precision tips and I used one last night to test it out I don't know if it's gonna be clogged or if I'm gonna be able to use that again so that's what I'm gonna work on I the zippers that I ordered for my little pouch that I was working on are not gonna get here till tomorrow so that probably won't be in this vlog because tomorrow's Saturday and I would like to use the weekend just to have fun and hang out with my family so I probably will not finish that bag until next week's vlog which is kind of a bummer um, well, I guess like, you know, if I get the zippers and I might test them out tomorrow night or something like that and see if I can sew on them. Um, cause I would like to try to make a couple of the little bags to take to the market that I have on Tuesday. So I don't have a ton of time to do that, obviously. So I may not have the ability to do that, but I wanted to take a couple of the little bags to the market on Tuesday at Rollins College. So that may not work out. It might just be a better use of my time to make a bunch of keychains. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to work on today and I'll probably also just do a sped up version of that too just so that I can fully focus and assembly line it. So I'm going to go ahead and get to E6000 of these guys. 
Real quick before I get started on these, I want to clarify something that I said um, as I was editing this vlog. I try to like edit and like keep up with what I film so that I don't have like a bunch of editing to do at one time. But I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, I was talking about the zippers and sewing through the zippers. And I want to be clear that I know that you can't sew through plastic. Um, but there are types of zippers, I guess, where you can like more easily guide the needle through the teeth. Um, at least that's what I think you can do. I know that you can't sew through plastic or metal. So I just want to clarify that I do know that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get to uh, gluing. Easy rider on the highway. Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking In the bluegrass radio mm -hmm. It is easy now to see you With your hand out on Keep this folded at the corner so that I could not forget it. Fold it at the corner so that I could not forget. Mm. Pink azaleas by your driveway. Shade our leisurely goodbye. Terry Cotton sweater with your arms sweeping the sky. It was then I had a knowing you were waving till the bend. I keep this folded at the corner. So that I could not forget Fold it at the corner So that I could not forget The surfing whitewashed beaches under cypress trees and smoke mm -hmm. carved like lovers in the driftwood on this moment I depend I keep this folded at the corner so that I could not forget Fold it at the corner So that I could not forget Fold it at the corner So that I could not forget I think that that is the extent of what I'm going to be able to get done today during now because I think that they're about to start to wake up and I need to get some more of the one inch hardware because I'm out of those and I still have a good many of the 1.25 inch. Um, and I might order some more of those too, just in case. And I think these are gonna look really, really cute when they are done. So these are Mod Podged and they are drying and I have all of these E6000. So once those are dry, I will clamp those and then do the E6000 on these blue ones after the Mod Podge is dry for that. So yeah, I, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get done 
with making the bag so i'm a little frustrated about that i probably will do a test of stitching it with the zipper um when those are delivered tomorrow but i don't know what time those are going to be delivered tomorrow so i'm probably going to call it on this studio vlog um right now because tomorrow i yeah tomorrow i definitely think we're just going to try like have fun and hang out so if you would like to drop off here then i want to say if you liked this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more behind the scenes small business content and craft rare vlogs and if you want to see what sort of fun we get into this weekend then just keep on watching Starlit sky, our love secret line, like leaves we soar so high. Beneath the moonlight, self touch your hand in mine, it gets me every time. Waiting for the right day Like the right day ever comes Now it's Friday 